quicker than you can say. Quicker than you can say. I was like stuck on that Wombo the whole game. I just wanted. I to wanted to see it. Yeah. Made the password T Force. I may have. Congratulations, Okay, everybody, this is Bronze Bootcamp Game 2 here, coming at you live via Trinity Force Podcast. Uh, if you don't know about them or want to check them out, you can at their website, www.trinityforcepodcast.com. Uh, now we're up to a few different podcasts, including The Proper, the LCS Rundown, and the Oz LOL Podcast. So if you're into League of Legends, I don't care if it's you know for the metagame, if it's for ranked, it's, if it's for the LCS, whatever, there is something there that I guarantee you will enjoy and or learn from. Uh, that being said, Bronze Bootcamp is a spot is a, a game mode where you can learn from your play. You come in every Saturday morning starting at 12, you play a game, we comment on it, we upload the videos to YouTube so you can go back and see what you did wrong and what you can do to improve. If you would you know, if you just rather watch it too, I mean, we have all of our VODs up on YouTube from previous weeks. So I mean, go go back through and watch all the different videos. We always talk about different stuff every week. Yeah, definitely, definitely good resource for learning. Um, 
hopefully people are uh, not just playing and then not watching the videos because mm -hmm. it'd be no not much different than a solo queue game. Yeah, we um, encourage everyone to go back and watch uh, the VODs. Yeah. Or like, I, I know some people just watch this stream while they're playing. Yeah. And that's that's good it's too. It's, but it's kind of cheating. The VOD's better. <laughs> it's it's somewhat cheating. <laughs> um. Yeah, but it's there's a delay, so it'll be all right. So we have uh, first pick, Diana. Oh, ba yeah, bands are just about the same. The only different one is uh, Blitzcrank. Yeah. And, and yeah, if you're just that uncomfortable against a Blitzcrank, you can go ahead and ban it. Yeah. The grabs. Um. This is like. Sometimes in solo queue, you don't want to do this, like trading champions, but mm -hmm. I wouldn't really first pick Diana for a few reasons. Number one, she can be countered pretty easily. Unless you're going jungle, Diana. Right. And number two, not exactly a high priority champion. So mm -hmm. for those two reasons, I wouldn't, I would rather pick either a high priority champion or like uh, jungle or support. Yeah. So you're less easily countered. It is. Like, I wish it'd be easier to trade champions, but there's always that unknown factor. You know, like, what if they're just trying to do this so they can get their lane that they want or, you know, something for a solo queue. Yeah. There should be, like, a, a pre-trade button that they have to agree to. <laughs> I'm sure that would work. Yeah, there might be some issues there too, huh? Okay. So Rumble versus Lissandra. I mean, that's becoming more of a common matchup, and I think, from what I remember, Rumble d can win that lane early. Rumble versus Liss? Yeah. Yeah. Um. I mean, as far as roaming goes, uh, Lissandra can do really well in lanes, but Rumble does really well for, like, dragon control. Or team fights. Yeah. It's a... I don't know. It's sort of a strange matchup. I don't think I've ever... I don't, I'm sure I have. I don't remember ever seeing it, though. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. We do yeah, I see, I think, the brand support. And with Ezreal, I like it. I... I'm waiting to see what they pick for their AD carry to see, like, if you should take uh, the Ignite instead. Like, we have to remember that um, it probably will be a Diana mid, so you may want that Ignite uh, exhaust anyways. Mm hmm Ooh, okay. Sivir would be a good pickup, just for the spell shield aspect. Um... Trying to think of some other AD carries that would work in this uh, scenario. Possibly Kalista and yeah. uh, Graves. And Graves, yeah, Graves would be good. Yeah, against the poke, you want to be able to all in, and Graves is yeah. all in. Yeah, yeah, they want to be go all in or avoid it as much as possible. So, like, you have your range, like uh, Caitlyn. Yeah, Caitlyn, yeah, Caitlyn Graves, or Kalisto would probably be my top three picks against that lane. Yeah. Or uh, Annie, AD carry. Lucian, I don't like Lucian right now. The latest set of nerfs really hurt him. Really I think, bad. I think he's... He's tier not... Tier two. Tier two, maybe. Maybe. I'm not yes. sure, maybe three. But he's he's not bad. No, like it's hard to call like any AD carry really that bad, except for Urgot. You know? It's not, it's not hard to just, call Urgot then. Yeah, just because yeah. there's always like lanes where you can get ahead and just by outplaying them. And as soon as you have items, it doesn't matter what the matchup is if you're ahead at like half of an item. That's just the way that AD carry works. Yeah. Um, just need that RNG crit on your uh, yeah double shot. Let's see. 
Um, Sejuani in the Jungle. I haven't seen this one in a while. Like, I still like it. It's her clear is not the best. The recent set of changes, I think, were an overall buff. Yeah, I've had trouble with Sejuani Jungle since, like, she was one of my best champions, and now I'm having trouble with her. Mm -hmm. uh, since the jungle changes, actually. Yeah. But I need to try her out again. Like, she's always going to be good in the fact that she has, like, a ranged Amumu alt. Yeah. That coupled with, like, a team that has a lot of AoE um, burst, it, it complements it well. Definitely. She's um she's really strong. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So on the other side, Zin Zhao in the jungle. Still able to clear really well. Um Team fight potential uh, it's gonna be good against Cass. When you dash, do you dash behind them or in front of them? As who? As in jail. I think it's in front. In front. Okay. Or like the closest side to you. Yeah. And honestly, post six, uh, Diana shouldn't have a problem getting onto Cassiopeia because she does dash behind. Ooh. Didn't know that. Yeah. Um, yeah, Diana. Sh Cass should dominate Diana, Diana pre six. Yeah. A lot of the lanes like, are pretty one sided. Um, early and it really comes down to is the person who's weak gonna be able to pretty much stay even or is the person who's strong gonna be able to dominate and mm -hmm. snowball that's the really the the question there for lanes like that so um yeah we talked about most of the lanes let's finish up here bottom lane so it is the Ezreal and Brand versus um, Sivir and uh, Thresh. Like the only reason I don't like Sivir in this matchup is because you have to be so like her range is so small. It's either 500 or 525, and getting that close up against the Brand and Ezreal yeah. is very dangerous, even with that one spell shield. Yeah. Um. The good thing is, I think she'll block the she'll block the burn as well. So he won't be able to use that. Yeah, if she only gets hit with stuff. one spell. Right. You know. But, uh. As Thresh, you have to be playing up. This is not like a lane where you want to be passive. Right. You want to be protecting Sivir as much as possible. And like, mm -hmm. Brand, he does so much damage, but he's really squishy. Yeah. He is. And Sivir can do a ton of damage, so. Uh huh. So when you're able to just uh, play up and let Sivir do her thing, like get her boomerangs off, uh, the lane won't be that bad. But it, Thresh does have to play this more aggressively than you'd normally want to play. He really needs to land some clutch hooks. Yeah. But he does have the Blood Moon Thresh, so he shouldn't have any problem with that. Oh yeah. Speaking oh, of skins, see. we have three yeah. for blue team and one, two, three. Uh, Liquid Snake. What is he going to have? There aren't really that many good blue Cassiopeia team. skins. Oh, yeah. Like the Jade one, I don't like at all. The Desperado yeah. one's okay. Desperado. The Siren oh. one. Is I like the okay. Greek one. The Siren, yeah. I don't know. She's wearing like white. Yeah. It's. Yeah. There's none that really, uh, Jade Fang. Ooh. Like, the particles Morgana in game Cassiopeia. look well, but, like, just, it looks so stupid. It looks like, uh, Morgana. Like, what the hell is that headpiece? It's, uh, snakes, but they're Well, I jade. know it's snakes, but it's just... Jade you, snakes. You, you know what I meant. It, it looks, just, it looks dumb. It's Morgana Cassiopeia, that's what I call it. Yeah. Like there's the there's the singed rice skin. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about yeah. The crystal or whatever. Yeah. Looks like singed. Yeah. So red team does have an advantage in skins overall. So they'll probably win. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. 
Impulse fire is pretty sweet. Yeah. I ended up getting it. I got it for a uh, oh, for a, um, wedding gift. <laughs> oh, really? From my friend, yeah. He bought me Pulse Fire. Because I was obsessed with AP Israel at the time. Oh, man. Alright, here we are. Oh. There they are. Okay, get everyone in order here. There we go. Alright, oh, this is different. Cassiopeia is starting a uh, mana crystal. Yeah, she's probably going for that early tier. Yeah. But I wouldn't, I don't like that. And here's I, why. Yeah. I would rather see her in this lane get a ring and pots. Yeah, this. For the aggro. This, this would have been a good lane to get ring, whereas, like, the last Cassiopeia would have been better to get the pots, which in the end didn't actually matter, because I don't know. I'd like to go back. Like, I think Ziggs was playing just very passively early on. All right, we got 30 yeah. seconds until minions spawn. Thank you, Brand. You realized you didn't have any items. I do like that Thresh got the coin. Yeah, whatever. We've seen it over and over and over Not in, in this, But I, you, you don't need it, especially for laning phase. Like what? You already have the Siver ulti by the time you have the ancient coin, or the yeah, talisman of a, ascension. They have Jin Zhao and Diana, who are both like chasers. Yeah, and which so. why you'd want the shield onto Jesus them. But it goes, and especially uh, for laning phase, getting that extra tanky stats is gonna benefit them uh, immensely. Yeah, but if you don't use the passive on. But that's the, a or, shitty reason to say not to get it. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Uh huh. It's like saying, "Oh, I don't buy Bork because I don't use the active." Yeah, and that's a shit. Like, if if you don't use it, you're playing it. You're playing the. You're playing it the wrong way. It's not the item's fault. No, it's not the item's fault. It's your fault. But if you're not doing it correctly, then, then use it. I mean, learn how to use it. It, it. it it takes one game to learn how to use these items correctly. Uh, if you remind yourself, okay, I need to, you know, get my passive all on these minions. Oh, okay. Uh, next time team fights out, I need to use my Bork active. Uh huh. It's I I think it's very different between Bork though and that because it, it's it's very situational when you need to use it. I'll agree, but it's the difference I mean, between not using it and using it. No, but here's the thing: I've played so many games with a Thresh support where they're like, "I'm gonna get this minion," and then they miss it. Yeah, I mean, oh, Ooh, I think he's gonna get it. Oh huh? no, she makes it out. But he does force her back uh -huh. with... Does blow her flash, which at this point, you know, not a huge they both, deal. They both blew it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it'll be yeah. back up uh, by the time they want to really commit to a gank. Yeah. Yeah, brand support is a lane where I think it's better to get the mana pot instead of the ward. Yeah. Rumble's really... Worked in this top lane. Nope. Oh, hook does land. Yeah, don't be afraid. Like, if you get hooked as Brand, uh, like, Ezreal was ready to go in there for, um, Sivir. Like, and if you could have gotten off, like, a single spell or two. Like, just because you get hit by a death sentence, it's not going to be a death sentence, you know? <laughs> Ayo. You yeah. gotta, like, look ahead. Like, there's always that thing, like, uh, like, you get hit by a burst spell, and then people are like, oh, I need to back off, or you get like zillion bombed and they say oh I need to back off now but like in reality they've gotten a big part of their combo off already and there's not a whole lot else they can do like in that situation there instead of turning back look to get more damage onto the Sivir because they thought they had an advantage once Thresh got that hook but they were putting themselves in a bad situation by going forward if you would have turned around onto them yes <laughs> <laughs> um Ezreal don't take W level t until level 4 it's, uh, not no, it's, it's fine getting a level 3 you just, I think Q, the Q... Overall, if you land all your skills, you're getting more damage out if you land all three of those spells. Yeah, but the mana. He's already low on mana. Yeah. Meh. Um, we're looking at this top lane, and 
Uh, Rumble's still out farming this, but mm -hmm. she is definitely out sustaining him. And she she bought too, like she bought pots and a uh, yeah. flask. So at this point, like Lissandra should be trying to really muscle she out wants Rumble. To trade, yeah, it's okay and to yeah, you can yeah you can use your claw get in. Um, Although if you don't know where the jungle like right is, right now like that. once his. Uh, Flame Spitter is down. You have an opportunity. Or right now, when he's silenced, now go in. Yeah, but she doesn't want to claw in without vision on on Sedge, who's actually sitting yeah. right there in the bush. So that I'm glad, but they she should be moving forward to do more damage. Yeah, and she does have a flash to get out, which would be enough in this situation. Yeah. But yeah, I think she has one more charge left on her flask. Yeah, I just man, this mana crystal starts not like overall. Like you're not getting a whole lot extra. Like if you go the Doran's ring, you if and you are able to. Yeah. <laughs> if you you could have flashed, Lissandra, you could have flashed. Yeah, you, you didn't have to didn't die have there. It. You would have made it out. But um, Rumble is trying to bait too hard. Yeah, it was yeah. too low for that. Cast a six now. Oh, so is Diana. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, Diana made it. Yeah. It's because of the. So, like, looking at how much health Cass has, you gotta be really careful, because if one Q lands on you, I mean, you're dead. Or yeah, you'll have to blow flash, which we already did. If. No, no Diana, don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah, if I, she Diana doesn't have enough mana. Neither yeah. one of them have mana. If she had mana, she could have, when Cass ulted, she could have turned around and killed her. Yeah. But she didn't have the mana for it. Man. Okay, back to bottom lane here. Okay, so Sivir completely out of mana. As. Yeah, they've been. Well, let's see, how much gold do they have? As 1300. If you can hold off going back, like you want to have at least 700 gold for your um, tier, and then another 875 for a pickaxe. If you're going that route, and if you're not, you want to have enough gold to get a BF sword, and the, you, you still had the lane in your advantage. Yeah, yeah. this is a part like. As just with that um, tier is so weak. Yes, this is where Sivir wants to take advantage. Uh huh. And once she goes back, she'll have enough to get at least a, pick a pickaxe. Pickaxe and my pickup boots and some pots. Yeah, let's see, seven, eight. So you need, well, I can't add today. Adding 1,500 five. gold. Wait, 1,595 is exactly what you need. For what? To get um, tier and pickaxe as Ezreal. Because mm. tier is 720, isn't it? Something like that. Slow yeah. 700s. Okay. So we have Rumble coming back with he didn't wasn't quite able to get his uh, mask. I forget what it's called. The hunting guys. But Liss did get a crystal. Uh, so Liss is still putting into region, which is okay. But Rumble can. If he gets off his whole combo, I guess Liz can just claw out and she'll be fine, but... Yeah, she's just looking to sustain and farm right now, and I think Rumble wants... Want... I think if Rumble gets his pen, he can really do a lot of damage to her. Nice, well done, that's exactly what you want to be doing as Diana. Yeah, and that's that post-level 6 spike. Okay. So we're seeing two tiers on blue team. Because they're crying. Red team. Yes. You've done that, like, I don't know how many times today. Yeah. Um, three, I think? At least. Yeah. It's pretty good.
Okay, so now that both uh, everyone is level fetch. Oh, just go for brand. Just go brand there. Um, Sedge. Keep track of your health, I guess. I think that might have been the problem. Like, you were at around maybe 500 health, and then you're kind of sitting back, which was good, because you're, you're 500, she's at 800, and she jumped in and killed you. You were able to get away, and then you turn around and go back in and ult her and go on her with less than 100 health. You went mm -hmm. back on her. So... Sedge does now have her uh, Juggernaut completed. So... That's good. Yeah. Um... Yeah. Soon as I'm not going to get a gank top because of the wards. As much as you can, you want to be communicating uh, jungler to lanes, where the wards are, oh, etc. That's going to be a... Oh, that's going to be a dead a brand. Yeah. You didn't need to flash, <laughs> Yeah, that flash didn't do anything. So, let's see. I'm not sure if this is the best time okay. for Dragon. Like, they just got a kill, but... Yeah, there's not a whole... I, it's it's very risky at this point. So, the Brand does see Diana go in. I think in that situation, Brand, you just wanted to back off. Like, yep. you, ha you have a lot of power in your ult when more people are around to get more bounces. And you don't have enough to like 100 to 0 the Diana. So, yeah, you would have you would have wanted to back off there. Okay, so blue team starting dragon. They brought down Lissandra. Yeah, red team is none the wiser. Yeah, is no, they know it. They're they're signaling it here, but okay. It's too late to apologize. Yeah, but now they can at least like if you're looking at the um at the tab button, you can see when they get the dragon exactly. So you have an exact timer. Oof, this is Diana. These ooh that damage. Yeah, she wants to go back. Even, honestly, if I'm Sivir and Thresh, I'm pushing this and going back. Mm -hmm. Even no mana as Sivir. Yeah, I mean, Sivir's got enough to get a BF sword. Yeah. So you want to grab that? Yeah. Okay. Ezreal still doesn't have enough to finish off his um, mirror mana. Mana Mune. Yeah, Man Mune. <laughs> Alright, so now we're looking at... Um, Xin Zhao just finishing his Stalker's Blade mm -hmm. and the Warrior Enchantment, so. Um, warrior. And um, Liz has her pre 13 minute Roa done, so that's good. Yeah. Yep. You gotta be aware that Diana's gonna go behind you when uh, she uses her ult. Uh, and she is going for a speed route. Looks like it. Uh, oh. W when you're like able to go in in 100 to 0 someone, I would rather see just more straight AP. Yeah. Like we've Maybe an Abyssal here because of yeah. all the AP. Like Abyssal will be really good, AP. actually. Like When you're ahead like this, Abyssal will be great. Yeah. Plus you have Rumble is AP, Sejuani is AP, Cast is AP, yeah. as does some AP, and then Brand's AP. So yeah. Abyssal would be awesome for... Yeah, Nasher's Tooth was the build that was rushed back when Diana first came out and people realized, oh, we don't need this attack speed. Red like, just building AP is better, honestly. Yeah. Like, unless you're in the jungle, it's better to build just AP. Okay, so Ez does have the Manamune now, so he'll have a, l a lot easier time in lane. Kind of a random ult there, but... Rumble, you weren't really going to yeah. get anything off of it. Was it just on the wave? Kind of. Like, partly on the wave, but it hit the other people just a little bit, but it was a 2v1 if you went in, so he wasn't going to go in. Ooh, 
Sedge is definitely willing to trade there. I don't know. It's definitely not worth it, though. Um, there a lot more gold going to the enemy team for that because of uh -huh. uh, the assist. The assist. Plus, it's going on to a carry. A summoner has disconnected. Oops. A summoner has reconnected. Okay, we're good. Never mind. Excellent. Okay. Yeah, Alright, so... Go ahead. I think Thresh can be playing up a little bit farther in the lane here. Like, they are... Like, now they have to be careful being half health, but, like, once they first got back, uh, Sivir's gonna be able to shove the waves every time. So, I mean, like, they can play a little bit more far forward to try to get a, uh, hook. Because they are ahead in lane at this point. So if, if they all go in, I think that blue team would come out ahead in the bottom lane. Yeah. But mana immune does a ton of damage. Yeah. Um, it's interesting to see Diana go right for a uh, rod after finishing her Roa. Yeah. Instead of, uh, getting boots or something like, uh, um, Marilla Namicon. Yeah. Maybe she just had the 1600. She's a, sometimes I'll do that. If I have the 1600, because yeah. it can be annoying to build up. Oh, I'll yeah. just go ahead and grab it. Oh, boy. Okay, so minute and a half before Dragon. Now's the time you want to start laying wards down around the area. Yeah, Diana is really just destroying Cass. Mm -hmm. Cass is clearly tilting, uh, talking in all chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't turn it off for some reason. Turn what off? Uh, all chat. Oh. I don't know. Oh, oh land going in. Got it. Yeah, Diana's mega fed now. I mean, this is, yeah, this is pretty much a good game. There we go. It's only 4,000. Like, obviously, they could come back, but yeah, I don't I mean, see it happening. Yeah, Diana's able to go roam right now, which as long as she keeps doing. Uh,. It's gonna be hard for the other lanes to really compensate. Yeah. For this is taking top tower. <laughs> mm -hmm. They're gonna get another dragon hopefully in 45 seconds. I say hopefully because the team that gets the dragon should continue to get dragons, especially if the other team didn't have vision. Mm -hmm. And That's what it's looking ahead. like, yeah. Oh, wonder what the pod is coming out for. Saltiness. A summoner has disconnected. Okay. A summoner has reconnected. Yeah, I just I don't like the ancient coin here. It doesn't make sense. For Thresh? For Thresh. I love it. And why? <laughs> the You're already laning with someone who has an, uh, an ancient coin built into their alt. Yep. But You're not gaining from it by using both of those together. Sure. It doesn't stack that well. <laughs> and you don't Does even it need it. No. It's like slows. Well, the other team's going to want... Is going to be trying to kite back. And so... Even if you do it separately... It's I don't just, know. I, I just like it because I hate it when people are Thresh support and they get the other thing and they can't last it. Okay, you want to tip or how to last hit with that on Thresh? Wait until your passive is, your flay passive is completely charged. Then wait till a minion has about 100 health and you will kill it every time. I guarantee it. Mm hmm. It's true. <laughs> that just has to happen. Yeah. Alright, so no. they get. Zin doesn't have a sweeper yet. So yeah, they know that this is going on. You want to grab a sweeper on your second back. Yeah. Uh, now that... Now that... Ooh. The new... Oh, Sedge! Sedge! Oh, Sedge! You, you can't be just using that all on one person. If, okay. If you're gonna ult one person, just ult Jin. 
and kill him. Yeah. Instead of. <laughs> Uh, they're too far behind, it really doesn't matter, but if I'm red, I would surrender at 20. <laughs> yeah, this is not looking good for them at all. Kind of size of my promise. Red yeah. Team's has been <laughs> Oof. Like, if they're able to group up, I mean, like, they have a good team fight potential, but they're already 7k behind at 20 yeah. minutes. Yeah. And Rumble, even though he's like pretty far behind, he's he's farmed really, really well. Mm -hmm. And our farm, he's farmed well. And he's got that, his penetration items done. So his ult is going to be killer. But their whole team is magic. Like late game, they're not going to do anything because they're just going to get magic resistance. Blue would just get magic resistance and win. You can't have trip. You can't have triple AP. You can't have quadruple. You can't have. You can't have four people who are. Their job is like. Well, I guess Sedge is a tank, but they do have triple AP because of Brand. Mm -hmm. Like that's you can't do that. Because Brand is a damage support. Yeah. Okay. So they're all grouping up now, looking for something. They don't have a ward on that barrage. <laughs> like, if they get found out here with all five of them there, From it should oh. be good for, yeah, blue team. I mean, nice. for red team. Yeah. Go, red yeah. team. That rumble ult is killer. I think that was just... I don't think Sedge was involved in that. It was a four on four. Yeah. It was all they just sat on that rumble. Yeah. I wanna watch it again. Yeah, Rumble had a really nice ult. Yeah. Yep, no that was like I know blue team was sitting in the bush waiting to catch them out, but like they had to realize like at the start of that fight it was a three V four. Yeah, and they needed to, since they were doing that, they needed to kill Rumble. They didn't kill Rumble. Yeah. Like, he walked into the bush, Diana missed her Q, and then Thresh hooked Brand. Yeah, that was awesome. Good job, Red Team. Yeah. If they had communicated, like, alright, we're going to kill Rumble so he can't ult, I think they would have won that. Mm -hmm. But Thresh is looking brand, Diana Mr. Q just didn't go well. But getting another fight here, Blue's just dominating as they should have before. Rumble's not there, yeah. so don't have to worry about that. Okay. Thresh uses that. Oh, didn't do anything. That didn't do anything, huh? Nope. Crazy. Okay. So I'm hoping, like, I see Ezreal has the Sheen. I'm hoping he doesn't go blue build. They're too far behind to go blue build. That's like the, that's one of the huge stipulations for blue, but you can't build uh, blue if you're uh, going behind. Just because you're you're gonna be lacking for so much damage. Yeah, definitely needs a Trinity Force here. Um, yep. all right, going blue build. All right, it's, it's not gonna work. Since Thresh has a uh, talisman, <laughs> I mean that's a good way to counter it, yeah. But at the same, like, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, uh, <sighs> it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Um, Liss is gonna jump on you. Diana's gonna jump on you. Shen Sal's gonna jump on you. Yeah. I mean, maybe you can keep Shen Sal back, but you're not gonna keep the others back. Um. So we got Dragon coming up in a minute and 15. This is still... I mean... Blue... St Red still has a long way to go if they're going to win this. Like, they need... Yeah, they won that team fight, but... They need... They need... What they can do... Set up for Dragon. Let Blue go get Dragon. And then Rumble ult, cast ult. You know, Brand ult, Ez ult, Sedge mm -hmm. ult. Yeah, they can... They have a good Wombo as well. Yeah. Um, 
But they need to let Blue start the dragon because Rumble's so good at ulting when that's the case. Rumble ults are really potent when they're in a close spot like that. Rumble. Rumble. Oh, she stepped back on your ult. What a biscuit. Oh, she oh. was too fed. Yeah. yeah. You don't even have to worry. Like, the um, Leandries will never kill you. It can't. It's true. It can't kill you. Since it does current health, it can't kill you. Oh. So you'll never get a kill from Leandries. I thought it had a minimum. Nope. It's capped at 100 damage per second versus monsters. It does not have a minimum. Yeah. So, yeah, you'll see it, it'll take zero damage. Bork has a minimum. Yeah. Okay. Well, it... It's... Blue team has slain the dragon. Does it? I think so. It doesn't matter, because you have the auto attack anyways, so you still kill yeah. him, but... I don't know if it does have a minimum, actually. We can find out in, when uh, Mission's out. Does this thing... Go, 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 yes. Nice alt cast. Yeah, I'm not. I don't know why L Lissandra was holding her ult for so long. Like, you should have gone in and immediately ulted Cass. Okay, so the whole blue team is low. They're looking to go back and heal because you don't want to get like blown up by a random brand ult or something. Uh, just coming and destroying all of you that would be hilarious. A brand just pented or something. They stack up EQs and R's. Um. Still almost a 10k gold lead here. 25 minutes in. Um, dragon went down, I guess, to blue team. So blue team is now on their third dragon. Um, I think it's going to be another blue team victory. I mean, we were already saying like they could surrender. Uh, so if they turned it around, we'd look bad and they wouldn't do that to us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, but um, that's... Uh, yeah, that's kind of a random rumble. I think... If you're not already, take Rumble off a of quick cast. If you're quick casting it, um, yeah. I mean, unless you really know it, it's it, it's it's annoying to try to smart cast it. I can't smart cast it. I don't know how. No, it's the same thing with Victor's laser. It just feels awkward trying to smart cast it. Like I get how it works. Like you hold it down, and then you have the one point you click and the drag to, and then you let go. But it just feels. Oh, so is that weird. how it works? Yeah, like, the first time you press it will set up the initial point, and then wherever you drag it to is the second point, then you let go. But you have to click and drag? Well, no, no, it's, like, you hold down E. Like, you press E once, and that starts it, then you let it go, and it'll, uh, let, uh, uh, start your ult. Okay, so if I'm rumble, I put my mouse where I want it to start, I yep. hit R, and I move my mouse the direction I want it to go, and let go of R. Yeah. All right, I'm trying. So that. it works, but like I, it's better just to not smart cast just so you have an idea of the range. Yeah. Ooh. I lost my team games trying to smart cast rumble ults. It's like randomly ulting. It made no sense. Cass is putting on the pain here. If he does go with the Crystal Scepter, the second item, great said ult. Yes, nice. there is that combo coming out. Good job, Red Team. Didn't need you, you don't need a flash there, as like that was a little preemptive, and you you have your slow anyways. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Like, you just look at how little damage some of the, those Qs can do, especially your auto text. It's just... It's pitiful. Pobre is. Oh! Nope, the heal comes out, that'll save him. Yep. Nice. Alright, so yeah, Red had a little... something going on there. Mm -hmm. Without Rumble, too. Red can actually win this. Like, Blue's making some big mistakes, and if Red groups and makes a 5 wombo combo happen. I just want to see this, these wombos, like... Oh, he had to back off. He was gonna die to razor beaks. <laughs> Who, Rumble? No, uh, Zin Zhao. Zin like, Zin after Zin. he backed off, he went back and tried to do razor oh. beaks. Razor beaks will kill you. One time I was level 18, yeah. Caitlyn with six bloodthirsters, and they got me.
No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. But I mean, like... But they will kill you. They're, like, they're intense. They're strong. So they're deceptively potent. Yeah. There is no minimum on Blade of the Rune King, so I think it can do zero damage as well. I think enough. I don't know. I don't know. Like, it, it's up. active will always deal damage. And it, that one has a minimum of 100 damage. There it is. But the passive can okay, do zero damage. Okay, that's what I'm thinking of. The active on the fork. Okay. So, like, I think I... Like, I've done this with, like... On most situations, it... Like, if the enemy has more than, uh... No, that was on Warwick. Never mind. I was trying to figure out if Blade of the Rune King was better. Oh, never mind. Blue team's fighting here with just without the whole team. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that Red's was taking van Red's making a comeback. Red's looking good. Yeah. They need to have more wards out in the area so they can get more picks like this. Like overall, shop, shop, shop. Get that. Yeah. Uh, the blue team has been doing fairly well for wards, but yeah, you need to actually buy wards. <laughs> yeah. The blue team's really making errors in terms yeah. of grouping and fighting. They're just letting themselves fight without numbers, and then they're stacking up and letting... Oh, boy. We can get caught out. Yeah. Yeah, don't keep fighting this. So, Ezreal, you've died twice trying to get Jin Zhao. You need to learn that lesson. Red's like in beast mode right now. Yeah. You know, I think like since the newer changes, I almost like like mid game here, like twenty minutes, uh, or even like fifteen minutes to around like thirty five or something. I almost like upgrading the uh, ward item, the scythe, on yeah. your uh, eighty carry, and then going to sweeper later on. Not sweeper that. You know what I mean? Yeah, blue. Yeah. Okay, Scrying that's orb. the fourth one. That's pretty big. But oh no, that's red's first. Red got it. Yep. Okay, red's really. So that's really good happen. for red getting that first one. Why? I need to know why is Sivir the only person on that team besides Jin Zhao's spectral cow who's building MR? Like, yeah. Liz doesn't have MR. Uh, Diana doesn't have MR. Oh, Thresh did. Thresh got locked. Okay, thank yeah. you, Thresh, for Thresh, getting locked. That's a great item for him to get. Yeah, says Perfect. great. But Jin Zhao should not have his Warden's Mail. Jin Zhao should have finished his Spectre. Cal, like, get his, um, yeah. what's it called? Spirit Visage? Yeah, basically you don't need... Uh, I would... I'd say Banshees over Spirit Visage. The only reason I say Spirit Visage... Because you get the healing. Healing yeah. and his Abort as well. Yeah. He, he has that's so true. much... Healing. But like since he's diving in, if he gets cast ulted in the face or yeah. uh Sejuani ulted. Either way, he should be getting he should get both of them and uh then yeah. his or maybe not then, but in between them he can get his armor, but yeah. Um his random And I don't know why actually like thinking about it, I don't know why he went Blade of the Rune King since he went Warrior. I would have rather seen him gone Hex Drinker. Yeah, Hex Drinker would be really good. Like he if he would have gone um uh what's the attack speed item? For jungle, um, feral flare, <laughs> whatever that, like whatever that. If he would have gone that, I would have understood the bork more. Oh, I see. He didn't go that. Yeah, he went the warrior. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, he probably should have just gone warrior banshees. I, I wouldn't mind Hex Drinker because and then Hex Drinker. Like, oh yeah, damage. Warrior Hex Drinker Banshees finish Hex Drinker or something like that, and then yeah, or you know you can even leave Hex Drinker get yeah. uh, Randuin's and finish it, and then get your Spirit Massage or something. You don't need to worry about Ez's damage really. Yeah, your like, your the amount of uh, physical damage he's putting out is negligible. Currently, in a, in a team fight. It's getting up there. Once he gets his bloodthirster, that's when you need to start yeah. being... He's really going to start hurting. Yeah. So, like, at uh, this point, I don't know why you wouldn't have, like, your trinket thing upgraded. Like, besides the sweeper, all of them cost 250. 
Yeah, and you get like crazy amounts of wards. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Like, you can get up to three wards on the map now. Like, if you if you use them all. Why like, didn't Red do anything to her? I don't know. Oh my goodness! They didn't even have to kill her. Like, they didn't have to use ults or anything. They could have just done it. Either just use their basic abilities and either kill her or put a lot of damage onto her. That was really strange. They had it warded too. They saw her, and they just let her walk by. Yeah. Okay. Let's see this. We need Whoa. Sedge. Let's go, Sedge. In. Let's go, Sedge. Rumble needs the ult. Brick ult. Sedge, there. Ult. Nice. That w good Wombo. Yeah. They're good coming job, back. Red. Yeah. Yeah, Red's gonna win. And they just went up another two or three k gold from that fight. But then when they started that, yeah, they were down six uh, k gold, I think. Yeah, their team fight's too good. Mm -hmm. And Blue's comp doesn't really make sense. They don't have a tank at all, and they're just not yeah. building enough MR. Uh, you don't. You can't. You can't. Oof. You can't take this one. She can back no. off now, and then the rest of the team can't though. Like this is really bad. The, the There's not team. enough damage. There really isn't. Yeah, but they're, they're, that was fine, because the minions came in, now they'll get the, they won't get the hit, but, yeah. um, they can go heal up now. I think that was a good play. Because what else were they going to do, really? Maybe they could have Baron, but I don't think they would have, they had No, the they couldn't have Baron, no. Yeah, I think that was the best play. Okay. Alright, so we're seeing, um... Death cap for Lissandra now. Okay, finally she's building her MR. That's really good. Uh, oh, Diana, I mean. Diana. Lissandra. They should both get Abyssal, I think. Yeah. Uh, or no. one could get... Lissandra or, should get Abyssal and Diana should go... I think Diana... She should go Abyssal. GA. She could do both, even. Yeah. But I, I could see Liss getting um, the cooldown reduction one. Goblet, whatever it's called. Like yeah, Athenes? Athenes, yeah. Uh, and that, that should have happened earlier, though, I think. Yeah, it shouldn't. Not now, though. It's way too late to be getting Athenes. Yeah. I think I'd just rather see a full defensive item from Lissandra. If you're. Yeah, that's fine. If you're in the lane and you're. If, okay, if you're going all against AP and you're. Whoa. Did the Scuttle Crab do that for you? I didn't see the Scuttle Crab. I was looking somewhere else. If you're. Versus an AP, and there are more APs. Build like an offensive, like an abyssal. Like, um, why well, I'm saying like so much. Diana should have started abyssal, and List should have started probably um, Athenes. Athenes. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's so much uh, AP, and you're leaning against it. Mm hmm. I don't know why. I don't know if like. If you're gonna be running blue Ezreal, I prefer it like if you have some cooldown reduction in your rune, so that way you don't have to go Essence Reaver. Because in this, it, like Blade of the Ruin King, would be much better than Essence Reaver. Because it, it Blade of the Ruin King turns you into an absolute kiting machine as Ezreal. And yet, like the, like, it's, a, it's not a bad item, blue Essence Reaver. So is that five for them? No, that's four. Yeah, it's four. Yeah, Ezreal's at 30%. Um, one thing you can do is go Bork and then go... I mean, not Bork. Bloodthirster and then go... Um, yeah, maybe not called. not Bork in this matchup because, like you said, yeah, they I have meant, no tanks. Yeah, I meant Bloodthirster. Bloodthirster and then... Um, I forget what it's called. The... Mercurial Scimitar, or...? No, it's an armor pen destroyed. item that gives you cooldown reduction. Oh, like, uh... Black, Black Cleaver. Cleaver. You could even Black Cleaver, because you're so safe, you don't really need a defensive item. Yeah. And, he, and they're not really getting onto him at all. Nice. Uh, Oops. They weren't too far in for that to be allowed to happen. Red team's has been destroyed. At this point, Red, you're not really gonna... Oh my goodness, I take it back. <laughs> she went right up there. I wonder if she was trying to ult Ez. Yeah, I understand. Like, 
Essence Reaver will allow you to have the mirror mana active on perpetually and sustain you around uh, forty percent mana. Yeah, but like in an average fight, you shouldn't you shouldn't need to have Essence Reaver like, um, mirror mana on except for in team fights. It's just wasting yeah. mana. You only want it when you're hitting champions. Yeah. I mean, Baron isn't the time that, since you're going back right after this, that's fine as well. <laughs> Alright, so. Looks like Red's gonna win. They're only they're within two thousand now. They're winning team fights. Unless Shin Zhao does some crazy backdoor stuff. Mm -hmm. I think they got this. Yeah. If I, if I'm Red because I'm pushing Bot because Bot has an outer an inner turret to get, and they can stop the push. They don't have to worry about super minions coming to their base if they're shoving the lane. You're not gonna. They're not gonna win at the double turrets, assuming that blue uh, defends it properly. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, um, why would you want it off when you have essence reaver? Though I'm saying you don't need to have essence reaver. Like, it, when you have mirror mana and you're only using it in uh, team fights to hit champions, you you don't need the extra mana. Like that, there's no I point in keeping it on. Like. You're gonna hit the minions no matter what. The extra damage isn't, you know, necessary. Yeah, and I'm not sure that you could keep it on with Essence Reaver. You can. I did. I mathed it out. It gets you to off. It, it keeps you average at forty percent. It. Yeah, and that's making your your mana do significantly less damage. Yeah, at that point. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't. I don't. Essence Reaver just isn't that great of an item. Yeah, it's, it's really like, not. If it built into something else like I mean if something built into Essence Reaver that let you have mana sustain in lane it could be like a decent first buy for some AD yeah. in top laners but just because of the way it works it's not very good yeah like in mo in most games where you have at least one to two tanky people getting Blade of the Ruin King at the time you would want to be getting Essence Reaver Blade of the Ruin King will out damage Essence Reaver mm -hmm. just because it does apply to your Q's and like if they're above 1500 health, you're doing more damage. Yeah, that's a great... Uh, um, Mirror Man is great, but I don't... I don't know. Yeah. I'll be the best at all. And that's why I like getting that extra 10% CDR from your runes. Just so you yeah. don't have to, like, oh, I need 10%, I might as well get Essence Reaver. It's... Yeah, like, get, get those runes now. They're on sale. Yep. Now's a great time to pick up runes. When's the sale in? I, I think it's as long as the... Uh, I don't right, know, red actually. Red team's looking to win right here. If they can get, if they can get multiple kills here. They'll yes. pick up at least I am. Yeah. Rumble can ult. If they keep chasing... Uh, they, don't, they could just sh shove down mid, I think, and win. Yeah, it's a four versus three. Oh, yeah, three versus five. Definitely. I didn't realize uh, Silver had died. Oh, she's going to be up, though. But still, I think you might be right. They should just shove mid. Hey, directed camera is not working for me right now. It'll just, it wants to stay in one spot. Go, go, go. Rumble, come on. Why, Rumble, why? Shove mid with your team. Yeah, Rumble does not need to be up top right now. That's really hurting his team. Yeah. This fight would have been easily won, and it looks like it's still us. Yeah. So Cass, is she at 500 stacks yet? Yeah, she is. Blue team's inhibitor has been destroyed. Okay. And well, he 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 got nothing out of going top lane. Yeah. Dang. Rumble, no. Yeah, this is game. I can't believe they came back. 
Great job, Red Team. Yeah, I, I didn't believe in you. <laughs> it's like you should have just surrendered. But. Oh, boy. Hey, yo. Is the ignite gonna finish? No. Him? What are you doing, us? Yeah, the ignite <laughs> take him down. Plus the minion Executed. damage. This is hilarious. Okay. Well, time to go back. See yeah, they're all gonna be up. <laughs> so funny. All right. Red team's inhibitor has been destroyed. Red team just lost an inhib. It's oh not boy. A, not woods yet. Oh boy. Bye, Rumble. Nope. Oh, miss. Oh this my Sandra. God. Oh god. Why not just kill She's Rumble? She's gonna get, get wrecked that? now. It's, oh, it's just the Juani though. Yeah. What are they doing? What is you need to I mean, oh, Yeah, there she goes one. Rumble's Rumble going back. Rumble should be dead as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, this just got so sloppy. Jesus. As soon as Ezreal started fighting Diana, things just yeah. broke down. Like, hey, that was just greedy. Yeah. That was just straight up greed. Blue team, this is your chance. You gotta make your move. Yep, this is gonna be five dragons for them. No. Yep, yep, five dragons. Blue team has slain the dragon. Which is big. They could fight this here. Cast is down for 40. Um. All the. Oh, okay. Man, that is a huge Sejuani. I love seeing the Iron Elixir. <laughs> it's so freaking big. Yeah. It when the LCS had Iron. No, that was um, that was Yellow Star. He was playing Annie and had an Iron Elixir going on her. <laughs> it's hilarious. I'm the. I like Yellow Star a lot. All right, this. What's okay. Pushing a little. Yeah. Why, why isn't the rest of the team helping Zin Zhao? What blue do? Yeah, that was. What are they doing? There's nothing there. Baron's up in. Win the game. Yeah. <laughs> you could have. In now. Oh man. Okay, Rumble. They should have gone to help Zin Zhao. Yeah, that was so was, weird. Yeah. I. Okay. So now they're just gonna push top. They have good control if they do decide to do Baron. Red team's turret has been and now four v four. Where's the right. advantage? The Dwani flanking behind. Oh, definitely Baron. red team. Red team's been winning fights. Very oh good. man! It instantly taken down two of them. Red team kill. All right, now your turn. Red Go win. Yeah. Don't screw it up like your counterparts. Well, Baron just spawned. You could get Baron now. No, <laughs> no, no. Go win. Yeah, go get Baron. You no, know you want it. <laughs> Actually, go get a Wraith Camp. Yeah. But first, let me take a Wraith Camp. Yes. <laughs> first, uh, let me take the Wraith Camp. Okay, I said just going back. No, just, in, just in case. No. Well, they, they don't need her. There's 30 seconds till the rest of them respawn, and just in case, like, um... Because they do have a lot of minions pushing in. What if they lose this? How they gonna lose this? It's two versus two. Oh, why did, why did Rumble go back? Rumble died, I thought. They had three. Oh, Cass died, too. Wow. The hell? Oh, Rumble was really low some, for some reason. I... So if I'm blue No, team... he was dead. Rumble was dead. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why they Sedge went back. They had three people. Yeah, and then Sedge went back. Like a big old biscuit. Yeah. Uh, this game is like... This is the most bronze, bronze boot camp. Yeah. It's a good time for now then to get uh, Baron though. Blue team's inhibitor is Start it. Soon. Go. Man. Yeah, gold is dead even now. It doesn't matter. Everyone's like, most people are getting full build. Mm -hmm. Blue team has slain Baron Nasher. Oh, this is... Rumble's dead. It's the third time someone should win the game. Yeah. 
Oh boy. Purple team's inhibitor is responding soon. This is like throws within throws. Huh? One down. They're gonna get the second inhib. This game is gonna keep going. Oh boy. Diana empowering the minions here to get the inhibitor. Okay. This is oh my goodness. Yeah, what's okay, this is going up top now. Okay, yeah. Okay. Um For some reason I can see everything. You can see everything? Yeah. Like there's no fog of war on my screen. Uh, press F. Oh, thank you. But now I only see one team. Okay. All three inhibitors are down. So either they're going to win or this game is going to go on for another five minutes. <laughs> no, blue should win. Blue can... Well, they're down... Well, they people. should win, but they should have won, like, before. And Both so teams should have won, like, three times. Exactly. Okay, we need to start talking about what they need to be doing instead of just being like, what are you doing? Um, okay, as red, right now, you need to defend. You have more people, but three of your inhibitors are down, and they don't have... You can't, like, backdoor because they have an inhibitor and a nexus. Yeah. So, right now, you just need to defend. You can win team fights. They're about to get this dragon. You can't... You can't stop them. Mm-hmm. You're gonna have a hard time with this team fight because they're gonna have five dragons and they're gonna have Baron. Well, actually, by the time they get there, they probably won't have Baron. Mm, yeah, it'll probably be down, I think. But if you fight it well, you can still win. And if you do that, leave like Brand at Sejuani and let everyone else shove and win the game. If you win a team fight, like ace them. As far as blue side goes, I mean, they need to be careful about their engages. I think, like, all, if they ward up uh, the entrances to the base, like, they can just wait for someone to get a little too cocky, go out too far, and pick one off. Yeah, Baron's down. And they can just make sure that all these minions are coming in. Oh, boy. Oh, nice. That's it. Blue one, just right there. Did they win, though? Yeah. Lysandra wrecked them, dude. Yeah, that'll be... Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, the minions would've won it anyways. Yeah. Oh. Once... Yeah. That was... That was hard to watch. I'm not gonna... Oh, I go, Wolf. <laughs> Alright. Well, the game yeah, doesn't yeah. want to say the game's over. Yeah, mine never does anymore. Alright. Okay, so that's game two. Uh, what time is it here? It's like 12.15. 2.15. Mmm. Mmm. I really don't want to miss Cloud9 versus TSM. Okay. What if we just did like a fun game? Like an okay. ARAM with people or something? Alright, let's do that. Okay, guys. Uh, stream's going to go down for a second, but we're going to be doing a uh, ARAM here with other people. So uh, we'll get the lobby open in just a sec.